Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy by me. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use mods for GZ Doom UWP for Xbox dev mode. In this tutorial, I will be using the Brutal Doom V21 PK3 file. I'll also have this link down below and let's get right into it. All right, so first thing you're gonna need is your modded file. It could either be a PK3 file or a .wad file as well. All right, so once you get your mod, all we gotta do is simply add this to our mods folder for GZ Doom. For me, I'm using an external drive. So let me go into this go into my GZ Doom folder, and then you should see a mods folder. If you do this internally, then it should be in the local state folder for GZ Doom. But if you do not see one, just simply create it and make sure it's named mods. All right, so I'm simply gonna open this up. And then what you will do is drag your modded file right into it. I already have it, so I'm not gonna do this. But then once you do this, we'll go on to the next step. All right, bet. So once you have your mod in your GZ Doom mods folder, all we simply got to do is look for your GZ Doom portable INI. You have this set up for your external drive. It should just be in your GZ Doom folder like this. And if you do this internally, it'll be in your local state folder for GZ Doom. All right, so now all you got to do is when you get your portable.ini file, right click on it and go to edit in notepad. And then once this opens up, before we do anything within this, on your other tab, just simply go back into your mods folder and we're just gonna leave this here for now. All right, so now on Notepad, if you scroll down a little bit until you get to the auto load section, and then you see this little paragraph up top, if you read it from the middle at least, it says any files listed under doom.autoload will be loaded for any version of doom, but files listed under doom.doom2.autoload will only load when you are playing a Doom 2 based game. And files listed under doom.doom2.commercial.autoload only when playing Doom2.wad. All right, so basically, if you add your mod to this doom.autoload for any version of Doom, Doom 2, Ultimate Doom, your mod will be loaded for that game. But if you wanna do it specifically for a version that you know that you have, so for example, if I wanted my mod to be for a specific game like Doom 2, I have the BFG edition. So what I would basically do is add my mod path right underneath the BFG auto load. But if I wanted it to be for any type of Doom 2, I would simply just put it underneath this Doom 2 auto load. Or if you wanted to do it for any Doom game you load, then you would do it for the Doom.id auto load. Hopefully that made sense and wasn't as complicated. All right, so now all we got to do is simply add our path and the name of our mod into our portable.ini. So up here, for example, this is for a mod I was doing the other day. So it showed the path, the E drive, because dev mode reads their external drives from the E drive. Then we got our GZ Doom folder, our mods folder, and then our mod name. So I'm just going to erase this one. And then I'm going to erase this PK3 right here. So if your directories are just like mine, then I'll also have this link down in the description so you could copy and paste this. And then all you do is look for your mod, right click on it, go to rename, and then all I do is copy it, even with the extension, go back to the INI file, and then paste it into this directory. So now it's path E, GZ Doom, mods, Brutal v21.pk3 and I put this underneath the doom.auto load so this is going to work with any doom version game that I play but then again if you do want it to only be for a specific game then again look for whatever your version of the game you want it for and then put it there as well and then please keep in mind if you do have a path of a mod in the auto load that loads into any doom game and if you have a different mod for a specific Doom game and any of the other auto, it will load the first auto load first and then your other mods. So it will activate all those mods at once. So if you don't want that happening, definitely do not put it on this auto load and then just do it for your specific game that you want it for. And then once you do that, all you have to do is save your changes and then load up GZ Doom, load into your game and enjoy your mods. I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like. 
If you need any help, please let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you have a great day.